Well, I picked up this parts WD-45 gas tractor. Uh, I only gave about scrap price for it, so I won't be out anything if I can't use any of the parts. Yeah, I can't really see the serial number very good. But uh, they had some kind of a loader on it at one time. And they welded the brackets right to the axle, which is always good. And as you can see, it's in very rough shape. Rims are junk. Fenders are pretty much junk. The shifter, it does shift. And the uh, transmission does turn and it does... Uh, work through to the rear axles but it does have some parts on it there's a uh, hydraulic lift cylinders then there's this rock uh, cushion hitch for a plow and uh, it's hooked up with a drawbar right now but, uh, That'll help uh, if you're plowing with a pull-type plow and you hit a rock. It gives a little bit of a cushion in there. Um, hand clutch snaps pretty good. But uh, the main reason I bought it was for the wide front end. I gave $250 for the whole thing. And... Uh, I knew this wide front had been repaired in the past. And as you can see there, they put a plate here along the frame rail, welded it right to the frame rail. Uh, they did drill holes and bolt it through for the bolster. And then they had a piece of steel across the front. And then they made up a new front bracket. At least I believe it's no different anyways than the original. Welded that right to there, and then they welded supports there. And it probably, probably, the guy said his father did the work. And, uh, anyways, I have a narrow front WD, and my steering gears are all locked up tight. What happened was this push crank start rod was had been removed by the previous owner and and uh, the holes weren't plugged and mice got in there made a big nest and uh, they ended up drying up all of the oil that was in there if there was any and then with the mouse piss and shit and whatever they uh, locked up that front end really tight so I wanted the wide front to put on there anyways, and to get this wide front off, I had to take the torch and cut cut this front plate off, because I believe once I get this off, then I can just unbolt the bolster, and that should slide out. But uh, I knew all of this work had been done for a reason, just that with this on, you couldn't see why it was done. Well, now I know why it was done. See, there's a big hole. <laughs> and uh, down here, I don't know if you can see it too well. And then over here, those are the bottom two holes. This was a three-bolt wide front end. We had two down low and then one up top. And as you can see, the one where the top hole was is gone. And there's a big hole in there. And uh, it looks like this bolt here broke off the bottom, too. There, you can see that. And uh, see this other side. Threads. You can see threads in there, but they don't look that good. And uh, I'm not sure if this can be, if this hole can be 
patched or filled in and then uh, if I can make a new front piece here that's that goes out wider and maybe somehow get two new holes drilled and tapped up here up, up on this side so you got four mounting bolts that's the later style four bolt wide front end either that or I'll have to look for a different bolster or peasant, whatever they call it I called it a bolster but uh, that's my it's going to be one of my projects I want to get done because I'm sick of having this here I bought this about a year and a half ago I want to get these parts off strip out the shifter the hydraulic pump cylinders the drawbar steering uh, my uncle has a WD-45 and his PTO gear got stripped took some teeth out so he needs uh, gears in here up here about to drive the PTO it's actually in the transmission he needs those gears so I'll be parting this out so I can before the neighbors or the zoning get on me but but uh so we'll see how we'll see how I do on at least plugging that hole up and then coming up with a new uh mount way to mount this front and uh Hopefully I'll actually make some progress on it this summer, but uh, thanks for watching.